كنتم خير أمة أخرجت للناس. This verse is revealed with regards to the companions. So the companions explicitly and the ummah implicitly. You are the best of nations ever to have been brought out to humanity. Do you see status and achievement that the Creator says you are the best things to have been brought out upon humanity? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says. Tuba liman ra'ani. Glad tidings to those that laid eyes upon me. As in my companions, those who lived with me and learned from me and were molded by me. Glad tidings to those that have seen me. Such is their honor that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, And glad tidings to those that see the ones that saw me. The Rasul says, Yaghzu fi amun min al-nas. A group of people will be in a campaign. There will be a confrontation. Two sides have met and no side is winning. It is deadlock, gridlock, stuck, stalemate. And then the leader of the camp says, أَفِيكُمْ مَنْ رَأَى أَوْ صَاحَبَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Is there someone in this gathering that has laid eyes on the Prophet or was a companion of the Prophet? A person will say, I saw the Prophet, I lived with the Prophet, as in I was a companion of the Prophet. The Rasul says, Allah will grant victory to the whole campaign. Why? Because amidst you exists someone that laid eyes upon me. Do you see the status of the companions? And not only that, so the Rasul says, time will pass, another generation will come, and there will be another stalemate, a de deadlock, no one's winning. So then the person will say, Afikum man sahaba man sahaba Rasulullah. Is there someone here that has become the companion of those who were the companions of the Prophet? Like, is there someone whose life has been touched by the ones whose lives were touched by the Prophet? Or God and a person will say, I am a tabi'i, I saw a companion. The Prophet says, Allah will grant victory to the whole campaign because simply amidst you exist someone who has seen someone that saw my Prophet and I said, do you see level in the eyes of Allah and in the eyes of the Prophet? Here's another hadith. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. لا تصبوا أصحابي لا تصبوا أصحابي Don't ever insult my companions Don't ever insult my companions فَوَالَّذِي نَفْسِ بِيَدِهِ By the one in whose hand is my life If you were to spend the mountain of Uhud in gold and my companion were to spend a handful of dates in gold his handful of dates will outdo your mountain of gold like if you were to give the mountain of Uhud in gold, dig it up, give it a sadaqa, and a companion were to come and give a handful of dates, his handful of dates will supersede your mountain of gold any day of the week. And I've got news for you. You will never give a mountain of gold in charity. You won't give a kilo of gold in charity. Best you will do a few dollars here, a few there. Do you see the status they have reached in the eyes of the Lord and in the eyes of the Rasul? So the question is, what are the characteristics, traits of these individuals that made them reach this status in the eyes of the Lord? The first characteristic is Iman. With Iman, you will conquer the greatest obstacles that a person without Iman will never be able to come near. Iman builds resilience, it builds stamina, it gives courage, it gives hope, it allows you to overcome obstacles that one without faith will struggle with. The Ashab were thinkers, the Quran made them thinkers. 23 years of teaching of the Prophet forced them to become thinkers and ability to think and solve the problems that they will face tomorrow.